These could be the absolute worst foods for Alzheimer's disease risk, with a recent study showing up to 2.7 times higher risk of developing Alzheimer's in the people who ate the most of these foods. I'm Dr. Austin Perlmutter, and if you care about your brain, make sure you're following this channel. In the United States, we get the majority of our calories from what are called ultra-processed foods, and this is increasingly the case around the world. Ultra-processed foods are foods made with industrially sourced ingredients, additives, and basically they're things that you can't make in your home. Increased consumption of ultra-processed foods has been linked to a host of different health issues. We're now understanding, however, that it directly relates to brain health. In this study we're talking about today, looking at the Framingham Heart data, they looked at around 1,400 people, tracked them for around 13 years, and what they found is, for people who are age 68 or younger, the consumption of more ultra-processed foods, specifically the people eating the most ultra-processed food, had a 2.7 times higher chance of developing Alzheimer's disease. Beyond this, they found that people who were eating an additional serving of ultra-processed food each day had a 13% higher chance of developing Alzheimer's disease. This is really important stuff, and certainly it's not the case that food is the only variable that determines whether or not a person gets Alzheimer's disease. We know genes, we know air pollution, we know exercise. All of these variables matter, but if our goal is to do everything in our power to decrease risk of developing Alzheimer's disease, we should absolutely be avoiding ultra-processed food and instead consuming more minimally processed foods. So again, this data suggests that ultra-processed foods may be the top food-based risk factor when we look at overall dietary quality as it relates to Alzheimer's disease, and this is all the more reason to prioritize diet for brain health. My name again